Okay, guys. I got a Husky 272. Can you see that? Okay. 272 XP. I think it's a 1998 or something. Please don't correct me if I'm wrong. And then I got a 550 XP. I think a 2018 around there. 550. That I'm going to be comparing to that 272. Because this thing acts like a 70cc saw. It is crazy what this thing can do. So let me just push this junk out of the way and we'll get to cutting, I guess. Okay, up first is the 272. Uh, which way do I, I want to do that inside, don't I? Yeah. I counted four seconds. I don't know if that's completely, I know it's not accurate, but I got four and a half seconds. Round four, four and a half. Okay, time for this 550, which is now covered in sawdust. Man, this is great. I got seven seconds with that one so pretty close now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna same thing but I'm gonna just take my hand off it and let the saw do all of it this thing's covered in saw and stuff let me move this log forward it's getting a little short okay get this thing out of the way Okay, just one hand, let Saw do the rest.
I got six seconds with that on the 272. So we're gonna fire up this 550 real quick. See what she does with just one hand. seconds with that. I think that's pretty good for a 50cc saw. Let's try a plunge cut if that don't go well. I'll go up. I'll do a timed cut up, down, down, wait. Down, up, down. And see what the overall average is. Okay, up, up first for the plunge cut is the 272. If it works, I'll do it. I'll just do it once. I'm running out of room. seconds so let's try the 550 now it's pretty even so far pretty good that's not too bad okay let's go down up down now uh i hope this works because i don't want to dull this chain because i don't feel like sharpening it right now damn chainsaws always getting so much sawdust on them down 550s time damn chainsaws oh my back's getting sore now yeah they're poking me whatever it is it's gay
again on the up on that up one it kind of slipped off so let's try that again that didn't work out the best hey if you guys want some cookies come get them i don't need them i'll probably burn them but try that again that didn't work out the best this for saw dude so overall not much faster like it's 272 is like mad averaging like three or five seconds faster than this thing it's really not a whole much like if you were a guy that was cutting I don't care if you were a guy that's cutting like 70 cord all year maybe more i would buy that 272 probably bigger bar it can it can handle a bigger bar it's just overall good saw what's poking me ah i got little needles oh that little needle stuck in my hand ah that hurts ow that don't feel good if you're cutting 70 plus cord a year, I would buy a 70 cc saw. I really would. If you're getting bigger rounds than what that 550 can handle, I would buy a 70 cc or up saw. If you're just the average Joe cutting 5 or 10 cord a year, you get by with that 550. Or a 562. So 50 cc, 60 cc, just for the average Joe. And then that, that's professional saw, that 550. That 272 is as well. They're prof they're both professional. But that 550 is just like the average Joe 10 cord, 10 or 15 cord firewood saw. That 272 can handle a bigger bar, 32 inch, just overall bigger saw than that 550. But they're good saws. They're both really good. I would not hesitate to buy either one of them. I really wouldn't. Okay, guys, next video, I'm going to do a comparison on that 576 and that 272. See which one's faster. I don't know. What are your guesses? Which one would be faster? I'm probably going to lean towards that 576. Leave it down in the comments which, you, which one you think faster. 576 or 272. And then this summer I'm going to do one against that 550 and a 450 rancher. Because I think it'll be pretty close but anyway guys that's probably gonna be the video and i'll catch you on the next one see ya